Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a POP3 cPanel email account on Windows 10 Mail. So if I open up my web browser, we see we're on this website. And if you own this website or this business, people, your customers will be coming over to this website, filling out this form and sending it this form. And this form gets sent to an email account. And when I go into cPanel, we can see there's an email account here. And there's two ways to check this email. You can either check it via webmail, but it would be nice if it was connected to uh, Windows 10 Mail. And then you can just download the emails there. You can also set that up on your phone as well. So what we'll do is open up Windows 10 Mail. You can see I've got a couple of email accounts here, but I'm going to click on this little cog icon down here. And then I'm going to click on Manage Accounts. And then I'm going to click on Add Accounts. So there's various options in, in here, depending on what type of email you have. You may have Outlook, Exchange, Google Mail, Yahoo, iCloud, but we're going to click on Other because we've got a POP email account or IMAP. So when we click on that, it's going to ask me for the email address. It's just a sample email account, testing one. And it's going to ask me who's it been sent from. So when the email gets sent to a customer, you want to have your name there. So this will be L. the name of the business and we put the password in so you need to know what your password is and then we'll click sign in this is looking for settings and all finished your account has been successfully set up this is your email address click done now that's pretty much done now so when I click here that will close that side window and you can see in here we've got uh, a test message here so I sent a test one across and we've got the original messages here so let's try and test it now what we'll do is create a new email and we're going to send to this email account so let's send it to dcp web and let's call it this is a new test email and we'll send that so in effect we're sending from this email account to this one although they're on the set on this software they're not located in the same place so here you can see one's popped in and there's the email and we can send one back now so let's uh, create an email from here so it's going from this email address to this one and we'll send that and it may take a few seconds to arrive into this inbox you can click here and then you can click refresh and it will check the server but normally Outlook takes a little bit of time to deliver the email to this inbox so we'll be patient and wait a few seconds So here we can see the email that I just sent from Outlook to this account and from this account I sent one back. So that's all working now. So your customers can send you emails, you can send them back. You've got no problems, it's all working, it's all synced. There's a few other things you can do. You can click on this cog and you can go to manage accounts. You can click on this account here and then you can go to change mailbox sync settings and it can either sync based on your usage or you can tell it to check emails every 15 minutes, every hour. You can do it manually. Normally, I just leave it based on um, as it arrives. As soon as it receives it, it will just download it and bring it into the software. Uh, download emails from the last three months. And this is the name. You can click done here. And here you can remove the account. So I hope that's all clear. Nice and easy to set up email accounts on your Windows 10 Mail. In this example, we used um, a POP3 account. Okay, I hope you find that tutorial useful. I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.